can give what you don't have. Uh -huh. When you are talking about integrity, you are really talking about the, the, the real person. Who that person is. Uh, when you talk of integrity, you talk of honesty. To be honest. And to be honest means to be trustworthy. To be truthful. And politics is science and art of government. Uh, politics is about the people. Yes. And uh, if you talk about it in a deeper sense, it has to do with how people take decisions on how to lead themselves. Good day viewers, we want to welcome you once again to another interesting episode of Christians in Politics. It's coming to you from your darling station, ACNN, Aglican Cable Network, Nigeria. Are you surprised to see me on this uh, regalia today? Uh, I'm still a priest, I'm not contesting uh, for a presidency in 2019. <laughs> Uh, I'm here uh, in, in this form today because today is June 12th and as uh, maybe you are already aware of, June 12th has been graciously declared by our dear President, President Muhammadu Buhari as uh, the new democracy day. You know, June 12th, uh, 1999, uh, remained uh, indelible in the history of politics in Nigeria. That was when the widely acclaimed uh, uh, winner of, uh, I mean, uh, most peaceful uh, election in Nigeria uh, was declared, uh, was null, nullified, let me use the word nullified, by the then military government. And uh, since then, there have been agitation, especially uh, in the western part of this country. And of course, uh, the democratic minds in the East and in the North have also been in support over the years, clamoring for the declaration of this uh, uh, day as the Democracy Day, instead of uh, May 29. So, but as we have it now, it has been declared as uh, the new Democracy Day, even though it's yet to be uh, gazetted. Now, uh, today, we are still going to continue with uh, a, the topic APC scorecard, where we have done part one and part two. Um, because we have not yet covered uh, some area, we decided today to run the part three. So we'll be talking on APC scorecard part three. And we have in the studio with me a PDP presidential aspirant for 2019 in the person of Otumba, Dr. Gwenga Jiwa, is here with us in the studio. Your Excellency, thank you, you are welcome thank to you, the studio. Thank we you are pleased much. to have you. Thank you very much. And we want you to tell Nigeria why you want to become president in 2019. Thank you. Yes, and we also have a guest, uh, an APC uh, a strong man in, uh, in FCT here the APC Secretary for AMAC. AMAC is Abuja uh, Municipal Area Council and he is the APC Secretary. You know what that one means? We have had him here before but we felt that uh, there was no enough time for him to exhaust what APC government have done for the past three years and uh, he need to tell us more so that the uh, Nigerians will know how to Position themselves in 2019. So we have again Honorable Samuel Ilo. You are welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Yes, we want you to tell us more about what APC have done. But we want to take off with uh, uh, June 12, a uh, declaration of June 12 as a new democracy day in Nigeria has raised a lot of you no know, argument. Uh, uh, for the past few days and today all things be equal while we are in the studio uh, Mr. President is somewhere 
conferring an honorary award, posthumous award, on the, the acclaimed winner of that uh, June 12 election, Chief MKO Abiola and his running mate, uh, Baba Ghana. Uh, is it Kenjibe? Kenjibe. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the, we believe the occasion is running now, uh, going on in town, in this city now. Now, what is the legality of this thing? Is it legal? What Mr. President have done? What is the... Is it moral? Is it... Was it necessary that he should do this? Let me start with you. Thank you so much. I like the word you use. Among the three phrases you use, you say, is it moral? You know, um, from the moral aspect, a man approached Jesus Christ and said, Master, that was a task collector. What will it take for me to inherit the kingdom of heaven? He said, everyone you have stolen from, return it to them. That is restitution. So now, the moral aspect of life starts from doing what ought to have been done. Yes. Now, everybody knew how free and fair the election was. Everybody knew the struggle. In fact, about three states in the Southwest has been observing it as a public, as holiday. A public holiday. And this upright man, the president, said, no, justice has to be done so that this matter can be closed. When uh, Ojuku died, he made a statement. He said, with the death of Ojuku, Biafra has finally rest. So now, when you do that thing that is proper, then you rest the matter. If not so, you have not rested the matter. Now, you have to revisit it and then Remember and hold. It's, it wasn't even only <clears throat> if you saw the invitation sent, you will see both Humphrey Wosu and all the people that were part of the struggle. Yes, was given an official invitation. You saw Agungwa Nekwe, the then speaker, all the people, even all the state chairmen of SDP was invited. All the national working committee was invited. It's a landmark. It's just like saying. Let's honor these people. There was a musician called MC Hammer. At the time, he went to the tomb, uh, to the grave of uh, James Brown. Because James Brown is acclaimed king of pomp. And nobody had remembered him. So MC, Blan MC Hammer, I mean to say, that has been playing pop, went to his grave and said, people have refused to honor you. I have come now to honor you. Now, uh, at that point, let's go back to the second phrase I use, legality. Exactly. Many people have been saying that what Mr. President have done, even though it's morally okay by them, is legally not uh, okay by them. Uh, before you do this kind of a thing, they said they, they should have had a recourse to the National Assembly, the proper thing. What, what, what's your take on that? Those who are trying to divorce legality from morality, I don't understand. I listened to Femi Falana, who is a legal icon in Nigeria. He said, what the president did was legally sound. In fact, even, I don't want to mention them for, because that is not, I don't want us to go into controversies. Even a senator who went to the Senate and said, Abiola, because he has died, is no more a Nigerian. They have no more. Uh, it says a dead man still yes. a citizen. Uh, yes. And then when people began to remember how Abacha was honored even at death by Jonathan and several other people that has been done in the time past, the same guy revised and said what Buhari did was right. So sometimes what we have in Nigeria is... Um, Opinion and side taking, but honestly speaking, what the president did morally, legally, are right. Okay, I believe too that uh, it was a good step in the right direction, but we leave the others, the legality for the legal luminaries to iron out. But that's why, if I don't believe that it is good, or this studio don't believe that it is, I won't come 
to the studio, like you know, I even thought you were contesting for president. <laughs> no, I'm not contesting. <laughs> I'm only just I'm telling you that at least Agbada represents democracy yes. in Nigeria yes. because we know what the many khaki did to us in this country. Yes. Uh, now let's look at the politics behind what has just happened because many people are say that this have and one have political or that or it, why did he not do it in the first year and all that is doing it at the eve of election what what Thank is your you take? very much my venerable i look at it from a two perspective angle first what is the purpose for declaring that june 12th at this crucial time i'm a, I'm a presidential aspirant and i know what it takes at this time when people were judging for people's uh, votes I want to give kudos to uh, this present government. I mean, on that side, on one side, for declaring that uh, at this time, because it's, it's, it's a law, it's not about Abiola. June 12th is not about Abiola, it's a national issue. This is an election that uh, was declared freest and fairest election in, in the history of Nigeria. And some of the Yoruba states have been having this agitation, agitation for a long time. Because the bedrock of our politics today lies on the sacrifice somebody has made, which is Abiola. I cannot swap it away. So for Buhari, um, President of Nigeria, to declare it as a public holiday, it's accepted. Acceptable. I, I'm okay with it. But the other, other side of it, why is it coming at this time? What is the sincerity about it? I mean, you know, my issues with Nigerians is that we, we have been addressing issues on the cosmetic aspect of it. We don't go into the real foundation of what is the cause of this. You know, before you can declare, you need to go into the root. Who, what is this? Oh, okay. What happened to Abela? I feel that it can happen to me too, again today. They can, I, can, I can win an election and they will annoy it because I'm not from this part or this part or from this religion. So what we are saying is that we should have to go deep, note the causes of this annulment. Who are the people behind it? They are still alive. Some of them are still alive. We have to bring them to judgment. We cannot just leave, uh, leave them uh, that just, 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 just to be running and about. Just declare. And just declare this thing. We need to go into it deep. What, who are the people? Are, what is the cause of this? Who are the mafia? Who are the cabal that, uh, that, that prevented this uh, Abiola to, to, to rule? Why are we always doing something after somebody has died? Why can't you give him when he was alive? So we need to be subjective. I'll be objective in this area. To address it right from the root, call the people that are not this nation. They are still alive. Why did they do that? And they must be punished. I, I want I want to say that they must be punished. People that are behind it, because what happened that then can still happen now. Okay, are you saying if it is what has just been done by the Mr. President is not for 2019, just for the politics of 2019? Then it should take the another step further. Further. That's what I'm saying to because make sure what, that what the people the, this that pronouncement this now as I'm, as, I'm, as I'm telling you, sir, now it, ha, it's, it has divided some of this rural land now. Some are now following uh, some are you know because um um is a prominent man in Nigeria in, in, in Urban Land. Tinubu is a prominent uh, man in Urban Land. For him to declare because Abanjo did not declare this uh, June twelfth, trial is regime. Even the PDP, for 16 years, they were not able to declare it. But I give kudos to Buhari. He was able to declare it. But this thing is causing a lot of tension, tension in Yoruba land, as I'm Division talking to you now. now. Division in Yoruba. In that case, are you yeah. say there's politics behind there it? There are a lot of politics behind it. Because I feel that APC feels that they have not achieved so much in Yoruba. They have not done so, so well in Yoruba area, in the uh, south southwest. Because when, when we want to look at, at, the, uh, at the scorecard, what has APC government done in the, in the past three years in Yoruba in the uh, south, southwest? They now say that to win their votes towards 2019, the only thing they can do, the man, very, very intelligent and very clever, for him to announce this at this particular time. <laughs> yes, because many, many Yoruba people no, We expect that the person who is able to govern Nigeria should be intelligent and very clever. Well, we don't, I, I don't give you kudos it. for that. But it, will not, it, might not, it might not work out the way APC are planning it to work. What do you mean? They were, they were, they, they, this thing was politically motivated. 
they were they were looking for votes from from the western well, honestly, region. Honestly, uh, when this thing was declared, I had cause to go into the archives, and uh, I, w I watched uh, Oputa panel discussion on this matter, mm. and uh, the presentation of uh, uh, Major Amza Al Mustafa. Mm. And uh, honestly, I shed tears when he was narrating what happened to Abiola and uh, the intrigue that was going on in Aso Rock. It, it was really terrible. So that is why, more, uh, why I say that it should go beyond. Many people lost their lives. If you can't, the people that, that even homes, families, are, homes are broken. I remember one of my neighbors in Kaduna Day. You have to pack their loads. The husband left to Lagos, the wife remained in, 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 and the children remain in, in, no, in some the relocated, overseas. relocated. And up to today, they, are, they won't be able to come together. The family has been divided. Many, many people died. Many souls were lost in this struggle. Man of God. Yeah. Now, okay. You know why I laughed? I quickly as, as say something. I think we may need to refresh people because many Nigerians were, uh, today who are due to uh, votes in 2000 I think we're not yet I mean uh, here when a uh, 12 was annulled if we have the I think we are trying to get the clip mm -hmm. if we have the clip of that annulment we'll just play a bit of it to refresh uh, people's uh, memory I just hope we are able to get it before you finish making the, your okay. point man of God do you know why I laughed my brother has mm -hmm. mentioned kudos up to four times to mm -hmm. Buhari yes. President Buhari for making this pronouncement. Yes, a man who wants to be a president must be magnanimous. Yes, uh, with four kudos. And generous with the truth. In, po in political um, setting, sometimes we give three, but he has given four, <laughs> which is a very big pass mark. <laughs> <laughs> and now, okay. and now, most times in Nigeria, honestly, I paused. He said the time. We have 365 days calendar day in a year. In the year. And the, it wasn't that he did it out of the calendar days. It was still part of the tenor. It is still part of the day in Nigeria that this thing was declared. A political party said that APC stole their concept that they could have given them the credit. Many people, like you mentioned, Oputa panel, I even know a, a man of God, one or two that has preached that this thing has to be done. Thinkers are the same all over the world. Yeah. Now, it has been done. Now, the issue now is whether there is politics in it. Okay, just hold on. There's a caller from Makure, one Abraham Isaac. Abraham, can you speak up? Good morning, sir. Good morning. All right, sir. Go yes, on. I have to speak on what is His Excellency, I just said, uh, PDP experience of presidential election. Yes, go on. Me, yes, go on. So I want to just speak on the area he was talking that um, Mr. President is so intelligent using uh, strategies and so on. So I want to let you know that what Mr. President has done, he has not done anything wrong or seeking for election in this aspect. One thing I want you to know is that when one person or the other fight for the freedoms of this our nation, those kind of people should be honored and be respected, especially those of integrity people in our society should be respected. I mean, if what the intelligence is, uh, intelligence is saying, eh? maybe he was thinking that the Mr. President wants to use this medium for people to vote for him. When you look at him, I don't think Mr. President is taking so so. Because in my own opinion, what he has done is a very fine thing. And one thing, a leader has done something like it, we applauded and let the other leader to contribute and also to follow. So that yes, uh, Mr. Isaac, I think uh, what uh, brother here, His Excellency, have said is... Yes, Mr. Isaac, just leader. hold on, just hold on a minute. What uh, Otumba Benga Jiwa have said is that he gives kudos 
to Mr. President for doing this. But he is saying if it is not uh, politically motivated, if it is not for 2019, then it should go ahead to take further steps to bring those who are null June 12th to judgment. Do you, as, do you agree with that? Do you agree? Okay, we lost the color okay. there. Okay. So, so I was making a point. Now, what the, the big deal now is who was the originator of the ideas? Not that what was done was not okay. And why was credit not given to this and this? Now, the new political party that is talking about that is the idea, it's just a new political party that was formed about six months ago. And this suggestions and the, uh, 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 this thing has been ongoing for a very long time. That is it. Now, Dr. Uh, Otumba have said, bringing those people that are not the election or part of it to book. Honestly speaking, 1993 was a terrible year for Nigerians. Okay. In fact, we from Igbos call it Osa Abiola. Do you know what is Osa Abiola? How there are I not say to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> tell me. There are two and tell Nigerians. There are two Osa okay. in Igbo. You can ask any Igbo. Okay. Osa Aga and Osa Abiola. Okay. The Osa means when you were running back to take refuge. That okay. is Osa. Okay. So now, people were running from wherever, going back to their base. Hmm. Not only the Igbos. People lost so much their wealth, lives, and whatever. Now, what doctor suggested is good. But immediately an arrest is done again to those who are not at the election. People will still tell you, oh, it is, they are, they are, they are terming the oppositions there because of this or this. But somebody somewhere have to go in for what he did. Somebody also have to take credit for the good thing he done. I, I support you on that. But honestly speaking, immediately the arrest uh, uh, started now. Mm. You will see people saying, oh, it is politically motivated. Now, I, can, I think uh, what is happening today is very good. In the spirit of democracy, I can see APC and PDP are green for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, no, truth are dissenting all over the world. Exactly. Okay. Uh, just like the kudos he's pouring to the president. This mm. is like vote of confidence on him. I'm happy about that for him. From a PDP man, give him, Mr. President, now, vote of confidence. On the issue of the legality of the action, uh, some uh, legal luminaries are saying that this award, they are not quarreling about giving it to Abiola, it is well deserved. But they are saying, as per the constitution of this country, that award can only be given to a living person. And that award can be given to only a serving president, or a president who have finished his tenure and is still alive. It's not to be given to a dead person. So what, about, what about the one Jonathan gave to Abacha? That Miriam Babangida was the one who came to receive it. Was it the same? Yes. Mm. So my yeah. thinking this, sir, sorry, is the legality of it. You know, I have been, what I've been going through uh, National Assembly and the presidency. You see, we need to, because when the house is divided, it can never stand. And that has been a major problem that the PC government has been passing through. They need to harmonize together. In a situation where the president declares a public holiday without going through the House of National Assembly, I feel to me, I feel it's because this is democracy. Democracy is about discussing an issue, national issue, and get agreeing mm, having what, a consensus. Yes, and before you give before that, uh, it, com it becomes okay. A that one will bring me to the promotion of democratic culture in Nigeria. Of recent, the two houses had a joint session. That is the House of Representatives and the the Senate. And uh, if the uh, the briefing that was done after, you can see that the House was unanimously in agreement <coughs> that things are going wrong with uh, democracy in Nigeria. That is by the way the executive is doing, they are going about their things, the way the 
agency of governments are operating, the police particularly, they pass vo a vote of no confidence on the way the IG of police is prosecuting his business of policing and uh, they uh, try to, well if we say, uh, give a warning or uh, uh, ask uh, pr the president to threat consciously otherwise they will invoke their power to make sure that they defend the constitution. They didn't say, uh, they were very clever, they didn't use the word uh, that they were going to impeach the president, but they said they, they, they will use their constitutional power to correct the situation if the president cannot call uh, his agents and agents okay. of the executive to order because they feel that democracy is being threatened. Okay. And here is Mr. President coming out just uh, maybe a fortnight after that or thereabout, declaring June 12 as Democracy Day. In your own opinion, has this government, you are a pastor also, yeah. uh, let's be frank, has this government, your government, APC, promoted democratic culture? Thank you so much. On the matter of June 12, let me comment on that phrase before I go further to other aspects. What the president did was pronouncement. Today, everybody is going about their business. And he, he has given instruction for the Gazette to take place. The Gazette means they do process we are mentioning yes. in democracy. So the, it is after the Gazette that the public holiday will start, maybe next year. Okay. Today, people are going about their business. I dropped my children to school today. If it's public holidays, they will not go to school. So, the due process are taking place. Now, let us not pretend we were not in Nigeria. Where manipulation was taking place that hindered the growth of democracy in Nigeria. The president has never approached National Assembly <coughs> with Ghana must go. He allowed them to have... In fact, do you know that even when Saraki was cho choosing as Senate president, they brought it to the president to use one or two methods that Obasanjo could have used. I am from Southeast. When Senate president was zoned <laughs> to Southeast, Obasanjo at the time was rotating it among all the states in Nigeria. Five. From Enwerem to uh, Okadibo, from Okadibo to um, uh, um, Kenan Namani, from Kenan Namani to Pius uh, Anim. From Pai it's, the thing was rotating. Immediately you do not like your face, he changed you. But our decent president... Was it Obasanjo that was changing them? He was or, the one manipulating or them. Or the politics of uh, the East that they don't no, want to... It's uh, not everyone want to be a leader. Mm -mm, it's not the politics of the East. You know, there are things that are sometimes blown out of proportion. And I, I normally say, well, God day. You know, when it reaches the East, people will do those things they do. And then they will tell you it's in, in the nature of the East. But there was testimony, there was evidence that somebody, the president of Basanjo, was the one releasing and funding all these activities. If, if the president, Buhari, has funded such, he may also have succeeded. So will you not say it is in the nature of North Central? Look, are you saying that uh, the present government have not been interfering with the affairs they of the national They have not Zen? been interfering. I am a party man. Even the, art, the, 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 the fallout of, of, of these congresses, <coughs> of our internal APC, those who went to see the president, he will tell them this is a party matter. Allow the party to solve it. Party is supreme. If he cannot interf interfere in party management, how can he go to National Assembly? I watched a video in YouTube uh, last week. It was uh, an interview in AIT. Uh, there's an APC elder. He said he was one of the nine persons that signed the document that brought about APC. And I think that uh, video was uh, titled APC uh, Playing 419. And the man from the beginning to the end, I was shocked. He is saying that everything that they condemned APC, I'm trying to remember the name of this elder. He said, No, Tana. That everything that they, they, they condemn PDP over, APC have 
repeated everything exactly. over and over. And some of them who are the party elders are being pushed aside. Be, uh, because this government don't want to see their face because they are telling them you are going against democratic principles. And uh, know that you are not, if you go this way, you will land where PDP landed. I was so surprised that an APC man of that very caliber can speak so far. I'm trying to recall the name, if I'm able to remember the name, but the, it was conducted by Menga in uh, AIT. It's, uh, I, it's in I, YouTube. I, I wish, I wish. It's in YouTube. I wish um, I was part of what, what mm. you watched. And I wish I can assess the point raised by the, by the, person. the, the person. And now that I'm not in the picture of that, I may not comment on that. But let me tell you the truth. What is happening in the country needs God intervention. People are doing a lot of manipulations mm -hmm. when it favors them. And then they also do a lot of manipulation when it do not favor them. Hmm. I watched Babache. Let me go to our internal APC, the former SGF. Oh. After grass cutting for the first time in the history of Nigeria, the government that he was serving as a secretary refused to hide him. He said he was being victimized because he's a Christian. You, 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 you had him. And now the question is this. Were you a Christian when you were manipulating, manipulating contract? But why did it take so long for government to uh, visit the issue of that? Because Nigerians have to shout and shout on top of the roof that uh, how can the government of APC say they are fighting corruption and they are harboring uh, secretary to the federation? is doing the day, shouted and shouted it's before working free now. that thing was done. Okay, now. it's working for you. Why now. it takes like the time you said, if you allow Dr. Now, he will still give kudos. Oh, the reason not. are this. <laughs> the reason are not far-fetched. One, you must investigate a man before you say it, he is into this. Okay. If the same day uh, um, it was hard, they kick him out. Some people will say, ah, oh, which one thing? There have to be thorough investigation. Okay. We must also thank the president for respecting people's opinion. What do you say? Uh, has APC been promoting a democratic culture in Nigeria? No. Uh, let me start from uh, the function of your responsible government is uh, to protect the citizens, the citizen, their security, and their property. What is causing problem between the executives and the legislature is because APC promised. The expectations of Nigerians are so high on this government, and dividend of democracy has not been fed. That is just the truth. Up to three years down the lane now, the legislature now feel that ah, these are our, main, our uh, manifesto. Executive is not is not harmonizing it, and they are not carrying it out. Look at the killings of in Benue State. Many people look at Taraba. They feel that at least. As an APC government, they are, which they are part of, they must show more no, that is even what, response. Uh, honestly, that is what gives me some worry. That is even yes. Uh, this, most of the senators that are really crying out in the National Assembly, yes. they are chaplain to the National Assembly. Majority of them are members of APC. Beautiful. Exactly. Mm. Beautiful. For the first time in the country. Mm. Is you know, it that... I, I read a poem. Is it that... Uh, the uh, the members of APC National Assembly are not in the same page with the no, executive. That's, 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 that is that, it. That's where I'm going now. That is uh, it. The, it is no more business as usual. Yes. You know, I I, I read one poem that said is a family business. A family business means when in the time past PDP, immediately you belong to PDP. Whatever you do, you must be covered. Okay. APC said no. Every man should answer his name. Okay. On that, on that note, we have to go on break so that you have enough time because this studio is trying to be very fair even yeah. to the government. Yes. We are, a, we are very patriotic. Yeah, I discovered that. We want mm. to make sure that uh, you have enough time to talk about scorecard in the area of pet petroleum sector, 
a fight against corruption, educational sector, unemployment, the state of unemployment, and what your government is doing about it, then power sector, our head sector. So let's go on break at this point. Until the epochal events following the annulment of the historic June 12, 1993 election, which he won fair and square, Abiola was considered by many elites to be, like most, a conservative businessman who will readily count his losses and move on with his life whenever the situation demanded. Even among the millions of his well-wishers among the lowly, it is doubtful if Chief Abiola would not have found a way back to their hearts if he had abandoned the June 12 struggle without laying down his life. But Abiola chose rather to die for what he held day, and today, also on account of his selflessness, hardly does anyone remember this worthy son of Nigeria was a shrewd businessman who made as much as he could from the global international communications business. Today, we remember this noble son of Egba Peasant, who by dint of hard work and a yet unequaled network of powerful friends and admirers, cultivated over more than 20 years of preparation, won the June 12, 1993 Nigerian presidential elections. Chief Abiola was obviously one very recent political leader who prepared himself to lead Nigeria out of the abyss of the rudderlessness that has been the lot of the country since independence, particularly at the federal level. It is believed that Chief Abiola was prevented from taking over the reins of governance by a cabal that has, even by the official public admission, held the country down. The then military leader, General Ibrahim Babangida, incidentally a close friend of Abiola, has to date not given any tangible reason for the annulment of Nigeria's fairest and most peaceful presidential election. It is true that the presidential election was generally seen to be free, fair and peaceful. However, there was in fact a huge array of electoral practices virtually in all the states of the Federation before the actual voting began. and uh, the family of uh, the deceased, that is Mr. Moshut Kashima Wabiola, I think their family will be so happy for Buhari doing this. The country Nigeria will be so happy for Buhari to do this, but why now? I think it's all about politics. Um, this is, the, the timing is very, very wrong. He did this just for political reasons. Um, the time the, the Yeni was really, you know, at the apex, it wasn't done. And he's been in power for some years now. He didn't do it. Just because it's just about a year away to uh, 2019 presidential election. And he's doing now so as to, you know, please uh, some sections who are not really, you know, um, in line with him. So it is very, very wrong. When you look at the, the geopolitical sessions 
of the country. This is geopolitical section. There is no section that you have not had somebody that has been cheated. Say the Southeast, for example. You've had personalities that have equally been denied of this. All right. So one is actually not saying that it's wrong to you know give it to MK. We all know that you know he was massively voted for then, but the, the, the whole scene has deadened by now. So by bringing up such issues now, it's just like I said, political gimmick. When uh, Obasanjo is there, he didn't do it, and uh, Society President did not do it. And now that he has done it, I'm very happy that at least he has honored him. But I want uh, Buhari to, now that he has balanced the equation because there are crises in the country, I think he used the June 12 to balance the equation because people are started leaving Buhari now. But with this June 12 now, he should also stop the killing in the North Central so that at least people can know that he is serious about the country. Initially, I don't want to vote for him before, but with this one, I can still do something about it. For me, I woke up this morning to see it on news. Hey, seeing it on news this morning make, make me feel, ah, what is he playing at? The truth, one, first of all, this thing has stayed for this 2018, from 1993 to date. So obviously we're looking at 25, 25 years. 25 years. Now, 25 years, how many governments in that, at that point, how many governments have stayed without saying this? In fact, the recent government, they've stayed three years in seat. We just celebrated May 29th last week, which is the regular and generally democracy known day. democracy day. How come there is this June 12 all of a sudden that is formally not being recognized by the federal to be called June 12? So which means we stayed a holiday last week and we're going to stay another one next week. We're a country of, I think generally everybody's lazy practically. We are lazy up there because there are countries who don't take holiday the way we do. I know that there's going to be another holiday next two weeks or ne late next week for the Islamic system. So, no, we just have Ju um, uh, Democracy Day last week. How are we going to tell the international community that we're having another Democracy Day next week? See, I'm not, I, I'm not, I don't segregate. I don't believe I, I, I don't like segregating. I work with the Westerners. I work with the Southerners. I work virtually with everybody. But the truth is that, why is it playing out now? We are almost there. Election is next year. And all of a sudden, what we're hearing is, there's, uh, there's, there's, this, there's this move to consolidate on the power that was consolidated in the West during 2015. Now they're trying to consolidate again to be able to achieve 2019. That is why there is this move for another democracy day. We used to have May 29. I don't know what they will now call that next year. But for this year, we now have two democracy days last week and it's going to be another one next week. It's quite amazing seeing... Uh, Nigerian president coming out after the death of MKO Abiola, coming out at the late hour to show uh, how uh, uh, politically, you know, to show um, one particular region uh, favor. favor so that the other region will, 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 will be will set ablaze. By what? Not by uh, uh, war, really, but by, by, by his comments, he has shown division already. So it's, 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 it's quite unfortunate. Uh, everybody knows what's happening in Nigeria now. If we, even a layman in the street know what's happening in Nigeria now, you know, it's that some side have been marginalized already. You understand? So all the whole world has seen it already. So it's, it's quite unfortunate by this time of the hour where you need to unite all Nigerians together and you are bringing such a comment. It's disastrous. In fact, I don't expect it. Even, even you, that you are, you are, you are, as you are interviewing me, do you like that? Coming by this time of the hour, where you need to unite everybody, and you are trying to tell somebody that is, is not part of it. So it's, 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 it's quite unfortunate. I don't know why we are saying whether it's the right move or it's not the right move. A, a, an outside man nullified the election of, uh, of, 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 of MKO, Abiola. We nearly died in, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, demonstrating in, uh, we saw people dying then, when we were demonstrating in uh, 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 Gowane State, uh, around Gowane, uh, at a better day. So now, my brother, he announced a man, you know, you know, no, no, annul his election. And at the same time, now, he, another person now see that this thing has to be done. It's also from his own, to some extent, we know Buari is uh, outside full and he's done also. But notwithstanding, he's still from the uh, zone to some extent. For him now saying that he's, although it's unfortunate, because 
uh, MK has died and for them now give him due or this and that. I mean, it, it, but now he's standing, there's nothing bad in that. It's part of the, it's, it's, part, it's part of it. So that's just what I see about it. Well, let us believe that it's part of the game in Nigeria here. A white man once said that we have three races in the world. We have the black, we have the, uh, the white and we have Nigeria on the home. Let us just believe that is that that's how they play their own game. So to me, to me, to some extent, what he has done is also good. It's also the part of the game for him to. I mean, don't switch me for mine. But I want to ask those people when they talk about June 12. That I want to ask now today when Abiola died, when we talk about June 12 today, that's the question I ask in Nigeria. And I want to talk ask this question 2019. Who want to be the president of this country? Now you will know. Who want to be the president of this, this Nigeria? Nigeria is a nonsense country. I will never blast them in Nigeria. Nigeria has no level. Now prison, they just the kind of people go to the for prison. Think I hear them, they hear Papa Lam Maria. If you pass them, can you put for moto? You know, do anything before you know prison. My guy, tell us that we are for one Nigeria. We are not for one Nigeria. There's any way they can use and divide this Nigeria. Make them divide. Anybody to go in way. Nigeria no level. I will never proud I'm in Nigeria. I'm very ashamed. You will see them say they are giants of Africa. Giants of Africa. People die. People suffer. Yes, uh, we welcome you back. Uh, the, we want to thank all our viewers for staying tuned. And I want to thank uh, the studio team, uh, the studio manager, Koro Day, and uh, uh, I want to thank uh, uh, the producer of this program, Phoebe Agemehu, for the good job and this clip. That clip was so wonderful. I'm happy that they were able to bring it to refresh our memory. I'm doing this because I want to honor them when they are still alive now. So not when they, they are gone out of uh, this place before we start. I thank the studio team, all the cameramen, and for the good job and the balance you are bringing because you are really doing a good job. Now, uh, as w before we go into the second part, which is the scorecard, let's see some reaction from people who sent in messages after, I mean, during the last week, uh, so do, let's be fair to them and read their comment. One is saying, uh, any leader that wants to succeed, whether in ministry or politics, should look for a way to get access to information from his or her critics. Nigerians seem to have the highest collection of psychophants in the corridors of power. And then another one says, corruption of APC. Look at Mr. Smith. Look at Mr. Smith, who was removed by OBJ in February 2002 because of corruption. Uh, people strikes, and now Buhari reappointed him, Mr. Smith, as police uh, service commission. It's not APC corruption. They, that was by Joel Lazarus from Jalingo. The another one says, I am caught up in between our Africa tradition that seems to forbid asking an elder questions and my zeal for God's kingdom. For those who may have forgotten or were not there at Later Rain Church during the build up to 2015 election, Pastor Tunde Bakari said that not only is President Buhari the best man for the job, but also that he loves Christianity as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, his driver for 25 years is a Christian. What we are seeing today is almost the opposite. Hence, men killings. First, they wanted to make Arabic studies compulsory in secondary schools, and now Arabic studies compulsory for police exam. Uh, uh, very soon, promotion entry into civil service will require Arabic exams. What is the meaning of this? And how, if, well, on the point of that Arabic uh, uh, something, I heard of it, I did some research. I fact, I went to uh, one of the high, highly placed uh, officials in the uh, Police Service Commission, and she was able to explain to me that uh, uh, there was a mix up that the system says click on 
English, Arabic, or whatever. But many of the students mistakenly click on Arabic on their own. So it does need to correct anything because we have invest we are doing investigative journalism because we want we are not I'm, we are not a political party. I don't, I'm not in the PC. I'm, I'm not a PDP member. So we want to uh, as much as possible be, to be fair to all as a studio. Now another person says it is quite obvious that the APC spokesperson you have in the studio are either ignorant or not sincere to themselves. I suggest Honorable Francis and Ilo <laughs> should go back to have <laughs> a retic. Honorable Ilo, I hope you are hearing them. <laughs> I have done so, I have had a <laughs> Okay, now let's, uh, let's move on now to, let's continue from where we stop on the scorecard. Let's start with petroleum sector. This government, your government, APC, promised us that by 2018, there will no longer be importation of fuel and that uh, we'll be producing it in Nigeria. That is the solution to the problem. Has that happened? Because we are still importing. And uh, they told us there was nothing like a, a subsidy. But today, we are hearing they are paying subsidy, if not higher than what PDP government was paying before. So what, what is your take on the added refineries working now? Man of God is a process. You know, to destroy is more easier than to rebuild. And uh, I know you must have handled projects that involve structures. And you know that it has a process. A project is not what you said, miracle, miracle, miracle. Everything, start working. And you know that there are practical realities. If you ever had an article how these refineries were deliberately destroyed by the former government so that they will be importing. Hmm. Now, to rebuild means to start coupling, getting those parts that has either gotten more rebuilt or, what, or whatever. Is that process on now? Yes, and the, you will also discover that the volume of fuel importation, doctor can testify to that, has reduced. You understand? And the, can you testify to that? He said you can testify to that. And you are here. We are, not, we, are not getting, we are not getting the filler for that. He's knowledgeable. He knows. We are not getting the filler. You understand? This is not about okay. politics. Not the okay. It's about realities. You know, the day mm. I came the other day, I said, you don't need to mass smart next to know the truth. Only look at things the way they are. Yes. Now, there are many uh, factories and um, coming up, like um, Dangote is building what is called the biggest refinery. No, that is in individual. Lagos. No, you can't separate individual from government. When you go to a country like America, most of the innovations you also see in the economy are from uh, uh, private sectors. Who gave out the license for... Uh, modular refineries. There are, you know, some of these things have done. Because I thought that was uh, I done by the previous there government. There was one Obasanjo did. You understand? Is but APC taking that uh, uh, credit for that? Well, because what Nigerians wants to see now is within the three years, uh, uh, has one of the refineries have uh, been refurbished uh, out of uh, the three major ones have they started well, have they started new ones they are they building new modular refinery what are they doing to uh, that, that is what to i'm telling you this problem because to this 2018 they, going they are producing now but not on full capacity that is the same and story we've we'll been hearing over the no, years no it is not a, as a story these are realities and the, that's why I, I i i told you that it takes time to rebuild and the, by God's grace, by next year, you will see that Nigerians will not in, Nigeria will not import for Okay. Again. What I used to say, and what I'm always saying is that uh, government should be transparent. Leadership is about transparency. When you are coming, you give us, you want to research your uh, NNPC, you know, we don't want to do it the way PDP were are doing it. Up to today, as I'm talking to you, nothing has been, we are not uh, we, are, we are public servants. We're supposed to be getting the filler that this is where we have started. 
this is where we have gotten to. This is where we are going. In a country that you keep your people out of what you are doing, that say they have been doing it, uh, nobody is feeling it. Nobody is. Uh, nobody has. How does statistics of what they are, the government of APC has done to revive, to reform uh, AP, uh, NPC? N NPC. When they came, there was a the, court, the price of crude oil was was down. But now, so up to eighty, eighty naira per, 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 per barrel. Now, what are, what are they using the money for? The money they are getting from there, they can be used, used to, 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 start, to start these uh, uh, refineries. And everybody should be able to see it. They're supposed to be giving us feedback on what they are doing. So everybody, all Nigerians will be carried along. We, 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 we have heard that uh, the issue of uh, subsidy is still on again. What is your take on that? That is what I'm saying. It's still on. And we're not getting, look at the prices of uh, uh, petroleum now. If you and go you to say the, there's it, no change? There's no change. There's no change. And uh, we are buying at uh, 145 per liter up to today. And the promise they gave us was we are going to buy at 40, 45 naira per, per, per liter. They said the, the level of the, the, the dollar will be one naira per, per dollar. This is three years down the lane. The, the, the naira, naira, naira value, the exchange rate, is 360. Honorable Boilo is saying we should be hopeful by next year. When, when are we going to be hopeful? People are dying. Honorable Boilo, can you look dividend. at Nigerians? Uh, they are the because they are, all Nigerians are watching you and you are representing APC. Can you tell, promise Nigeria by, that by 2019 they, they will be refi go refinery will not be importing again and that things will be okay in the petroleum sector? Man of God, um, somebody defines health as a state and the healing as a process. Yeah. No, don't look at me. Talk to Nigerians yes. this time. Um, somebody define health as a state <laughs> and the healing yes. as a process. Okay. Honestly speaking, the healing of Nigeria is taking place. Okay. Forget about propaganda. So Nigeria will be discharged in 2019 from hospital. Uh, let us not pick a time, but I know that everything that is living does not expect to be static. Okay. It's either growing now, or let's quickly move to another sector. Fight against corruption. Many people are saying it's, uh, it's not genuine, it's vindictive, or, and, uh, or selective. What is your take? Well, anytime you mention... How is the fight? Anytime you mention... Are you people fighting any, corruption? Anytime you mention corruption in Nigeria... You, are, once, you are very happy. One scripture always comes to my okay. mind. The Bible says that he that lives in worldly pleasure is dead, even where he is alive. That is a good quote. Nigeria was dead because of corruption. Let's not start forming opinion where it does not exist. Okay. Honestly speaking, in fact, one international commentator was saying that the funny thing is that the president, talk, talk, talking about good luck, Jonathan Den, is watching Nigeria being, being shared into P6. Now, the fight against corruption Let's go to the basics. I told you before a poem I read that said family business. Yes. The family business in Nigeria can be classified in three categories. Okay. Your party, uh, 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 where you belong. That's the first family. The first family. Now, the truth is this. This APC government, are they shading the party family? Babache, we talked about, is a member of APC. Saraki, we talked about, is a member of APC. All the people that had one question or the other to answer by EFCC from the party. J Just hold on. There's, there's, there's a caller from OG. You know, uh, first of all, I want to say that I score it well, one percent. Go on. Okay, okay. You score APC what? One percent. One percent. <laughs> Are you a teacher? Your students must be in I trouble. Mean, I'm because... <laughs> okay, go on. Uh, now, first of all, when we talk about a recession, recession is not a theory. Hmm. When they say we are out of recession, it's not just not a spirit. Even you people there, you are feeling the recession too. 
Everyone is feeling the recession. Now, this very government initiated recession. This government initiated recession? Yes, they invented the recession. But they say it's PDP. No. That is the thing. It's the same thing. Go now, on. How do they, how do they invent a recession? Tell us. They invent a recession. When they came in, the, the fuel was 87 naira, but it was I know, inflated to, to 145 naira. Okay. So you can see every the goods in the market get higher, skyrocketed. All the prices in the good market got skyrocketed. And therefore, the ordinary man uh, finding it the yeah. ordinary man finding difficult. Uh, sorry, uh, to, I, it's like I'm not getting you very clearly. We may have to get you on another day. Very sorry about that, uh, Mr. Oji. Uh, let's continue from so uh, now, talking of corruption. So now, you see that if an APC member has question to answer EFCC, nobody is shedding them. Number two, family... Uh, Are you saying that? Uh, all the people, people are pointing fingers to in APC, they no, none of them have questions to answer? The question is not about pointing fingers. If you have an evidence, you present it to EFCC. There is none that has been presented to them that they didn't carry on. If a government can investigate a sitting Secretary General of Federation, huh, let us give, let us be fair to ourselves. But that, do you know that this Babache mm -hmm. was former national vice chairman northeast of APC who followed Buhari to campaign? And after that, he was appointed as SGF. And when the government discovered that there is something wrong about some processes that he engaged. But we thought, uh, Mr. President, it took um, a very long time to search for his uh, team. It's not about taking long time. In the long run, something has been done. There are governments that never even took long time. They didn't took time at all. Okay, so you believe that the war against corruption is on course? Yes. No. Do you share that opinion uh, as a PDP man? This corruption we are talking about, the fight against corruption started from PDP. Most of the things APC government are doing today was on the platform of, of PDP. W what do you uh -huh. mean? Is it, no, we're, not, we're looking at it from ESCC alone. TSC, TSC single account system was from uh, PDP. It was just that... Uh, it was when uh, this APC government got to on stage, they were able to implement it. Okay, you on, mean on, the PDP on, were already laying yeah, foundation? Yes, on the foundation for it. For TSC. Even BVN in the banking sector, all the illicit money in the banking sector. APC, uh, PDP started the, uh, the BVN, BVN issue. issue. In fact, it started from PDP. It now migrated to APC. So yes. when you see most well, of the somebody money, said that if Obasa just started uh, EFCC yes. and uh, all that. We, th 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 when we are talking about corruption, we need to look at it from both sides, the holistic and you no, know, because we are just looking at it from EFCC alone. The governments in uh, during uh, the PDP, Jonathan, they were able to discover a lot of ghost workers to uh, to the uh, uh, introduction of uh, a single account system and BVN. They discover a lot of. Uh, workers that are ghost in almost all the states uh, in Nigeria, that is the state. So what, we are, what the uh, APC are, are doing on that, they are just kind of uh, using, using the ladder of PDP, the ladder of PDP to, 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 shine. To, to shine. Most of the projects that they, have, they are even uh, flagging off now, today, started from the PDP, the rail system and all those uh, transportation systems. So what I'm trying to say is that uh, the corruption uh, issue with the APC government is selective. We are, we are, let's be sincere to ourselves. There was a time when the governor of River State shouted that uh, the past government, uh, government in River State, uh, they embezzled a uh, lot of mm -hmm. funds, funds. money. And he, he, he brought everything out. Sir. But instead of the government of the day to, to, work, to pursue the issue, uh, the everything has died down. Not only UK issue, we have the several on on a corruption issue. Is that when you are not in APC, you are you are you are you are you are, you are, you are a saint. If you are in APC, you are a saint. You, if you are outside APC, 
you are corrupt. Now, let's leave corruption. Uh, you, what you, can you say about the educational sector? Because this involves the youths. Uh, what is APC, your government, doing in the area of education? Um, uh, I will, there are some, some, you know, I brought out three points on corruption. Because you see what doctor said now. Before, uh, I don't know whether we can, I can just finish a point. Quickly, then go to educational now, sector. doctor said that it is selective. That once you are not an APC member, but even the first example I gave was call a PC member. You understand? And they, we are here. Now, the other but one, that example, what that that example of uh, is it Baba uh, Chia, was, they don't do was about wait it. now, was not, I mean, to me, what has uh, been done? Wait, to me, it's not a good, a good one because what be in Nigerians cried and cried and cried. So civil society cried and cried over that. That how can a government that says they are fighting corruption have robbed a man like this at the center? Man, if, of, so, man of God, go, no, of I'm, God. I'm, you know the record of sacking a person. You know the record that somebody is sacked. You know the signal that in sense. No, but uh, but the, the somebody but, can be put on suspension while he's quickly no, investigated. But, but he was sacked in, eventually. Now, secondly, also according to the family business, which yeah. I brought as a this thing, yeah. is the ethnicity. Sometimes when somebody is from your side, mm -hmm. you don't investigate him. Investigate. But all these are uh, Sambo, Dasuki, and other people that are crying now. They were also investigated. Now it's also your religion. You see that Sambo Dasuki is a Muslim. So it is not selective, my brother. Okay, let's go quickly to educational sector. Okay, if you go to... What, what has APC done for our youths in this area? If you, if you go into the budget of um, this year, you will see that enormous money has been budgeted for education. Even the educa educational sector you are talking about, go to higher institutions. You will weep. You will see that how the lecturers are compromising with the students. That nobody can do any research. In fact, even exam, sometimes the lecturer write it for you. Yeah, we know all this. What has APC done? That is what I'm telling you. Okay. The fight against corruption is not only monetary uh, uh, corruption. It mm -hmm. is also all these malpractices where, here and there. And the like uh, okay. Let, let's give Ozea the third chance. Let me see whether we can, you can speak up. Now, Ozea, happy, speak happy, up, please. Happy, I'm very glad on this um, program that we are just conducting. It's very, 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 very okay. But there's something I want to shift in. That's a uh, are, are you staying in this country or are you living in the moon? How can you say those policies that APC, APC, this? Let me just tell you, APC government is. Was corrupt. In fact, government set of people that I have ever imagined. From, and since APC came into power, everything just organized. No respect for life in Nigeria. Let's, let's just fact. I use APC just that, just that, that hard life. No, you are wrong. In the area of corruption, PDC has done better. They even go to the root to have stopped because of Nigeria. What, what APC is doing? APC is the most corrupt government I have ever seen. To can you boast of anything, anything tangible? Yeah, I, I think the network is not a yeah. helping uh, mm -hmm. matter mm -hmm. here, but yes. the, the man is saying from Onicha that. Uh, uh, since APC came on board, everything is disorganized in the country. There's confusion everywhere, and uh, well, at least we could get that. Is say PDP even did better in the area of corruption? So well, that is that his is, own opinion. Too. That is what I uh, told you. In now Nigeria taking sides, you know. You, 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 uh, no, well, the Nigerians are the judge in this matter. Ah, uh, but a judge you are a player. Take Wait, side. No, you are a player. <laughs> You are a player as a member of APC. This man is well, uh, is also indirectly representing PDP. Not indirectly, directly. <laughs> <laughs> no, they have not given him tickets. Yeah, but he's looking for the ticket. <laughs> and they will keep it here and he will grab it. <laughs>
<laughs> so, he's not joking. Unless he's just saying he's joking. So, so no, he's not joking. He has already declared his intention. That is what I'm saying. So, there's nothing like indirectly again. Uh -huh. He okay. wants to grab it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, uh, education, that's set up. Can you say that APC have fared well? Because, honestly, I, like as I say, I'm not a PDP man. I'm a neutral person. I'm an ordinary no, Nigerian. You have shown you have I'm an ordinary it. Nigerian. <clears throat> the truth is that uh, I don't give credit to PDP in the area of corruption, fight against corruption. They didn't do as much. At you are all. a fair man. Now, but in the area of education, I think I, I give. Don't, don't form an opinion. No, I give, I, no I give kudos to Jonathan. <laughs> no, don't form an opinion. Even no, what, he, wait now, <laughs> even <laughs> what he did in the North, mm -hmm. in the North, establishing of schools yeah. and all that. Now, can you say APC is doing well? in the area of education you are going to be mr president be fair and be, just speak the truth uh, education is the bedrock of a nation and it's supposed to be given a serious uh priority priority i was expecting apc to when they came in to give a reform into educational sector in nigeria what ptpi has achieved all this unknown jury uh, uh, private universities and other stuff because education is it's all about having uh, making it affordable education supposed to be accessible and uh, available that is the three organ of education is education accessible is it affordable now when apc was coming in they said ah they were uh, almost free education uh for 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 for, for nigerians but Alan, they are giving food to this kind of food. Have, you, have, have, have any of your uh, any, in my, in anybody in your area? Have, in have, my they, state. have they told you that they, they are eating their food? Doctor, are you in Nigeria? I'm not eating the food. I'm not Nigerian. I'm not Doctor, eating the food. But are you still in Nigeria? Do you know? The question is not about eating food. Just, just one. Let me just let me be, let me frank. It's not about eating food. The question is just about giving a serious training to our children and uh, because they are the they are the leaders of tomorrow. We are not giving it education. We are not giving it the, the desired uh, the attention that we are supposed to give. That is that's my mistake. I, I was able to interview a graduate for an employment last last last, last three months. He could not even write his uh, a, a single sentence. Sentence. That's beautiful. A graduate that studied graduate. under Jonathan. No, this is three years now. Three years. No, he can't graduate <laughs> within three years. Is Jonathan? He can't. Wait, that hold was on. One year, one year of Jonathan. Oh, three years no, of uh, hold, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, let me ask. Let, let me ask. Not even wait, now. Hold on. A single hold sentence. On, you understand? No command. No full stop. Honorable Samuel. Is President Good Lord Jonathan a VC of a university? Oh, you know, <laughs> is that a graduate of that Jonathan? That's a man of God. But you know, the way Nigeria come into conclusion is mm. like I have to join them in that because if you say you interviewed a graduate, mm. only his one one year youth service. Mm. If you knock it out, mm. you have the remaining two years. Mm. And I don't know where he graduated, so he must have graduated under PDP government, and, and he cannot be able PDP to stay his government, name. not under Jonathan. No, you understand. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, do you know that if you go, we are in FCT, yes. I can take you to a tour. I can secure an official uh, 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 visit. Mm. We will visit secondary school in this FCT. Mm. Honestly speaking, they compete favorably with private uh, school. High quality education. Okay, let's quickly take on unemployment. Uh, the state of unemployment in this country, has APC done well in your own opinion? Just be fair. Well, in fairness, um, I told you that health is a state and healing is a process. And because of the fairness you, you, word you use, APC is trying... Okay, hold on. One line is going to Emmanuel from Maitama in Abuja. Yes, I want to say that this government we have now in power, I think they are deceiving us. They are doing to be what? Honest with you, my major problem is not the government in power. My major problem is the opposition, the PDP. The oh. two people you have in that studio now represent exactly the kind of former community we have and the one we have now. The opposition person, Mr. The man in red, is very vocal to defend the government. Why the PDP man was not able to stand? Sometimes I had him knocking his head. This government always throw some controversy just into confusion so that we will leave the real issue. People dying in Akamawa, the new state, many places, things are happening. They throw 
of June 12, which is the talk of the day. Everybody will channel their, their attention from the reality of the situation. That is my, my take. Okay. Thank you, Emmanuel. I think... Uh... Uh, well, we 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 are analyzing APC scorecard. We are great. We are about to round up now, and we have got it to the point really where we want to find out from the presidential aspirant under PDP what he thinks he can do better uh, when he comes. If God gives him the opportunity to come in in 2019, we have just been analyzing, debating the issue. That is why you see we have now this time. Uh, because time is against us, I think uh, let's let's be fair to him. He has already declared that he wants to be a, a president in 2019, and want to find out what makes you think you can govern Nigeria. Government is all about uh, it's all about giving back to the people. Uh, it's just about uh, the security of lives and property, as we said. That is the primary objective of a serious government. I have a lot of, in my manifesto, I look at the system that we are running in Nigeria today for the past years. Things are not working. The system has been, the system is, itself is corrupt. The system we are running now is corrupt. Even though you put a saint in this system, because the center is over centralized, everything comes to the center. Until we look at that area, so you believe in devolution of power? Exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. The <coughs> power is too strong at the, at the center. It doesn't make anything to work. And we have been living in this system for a long time. And we, we discovered it. it's not working. And we, we need to change. If we give you opportunity, will you restructure Nigeria? I will. I will uh, certainly, I will, I will do that. Restructuring is just the key. It, if you restructure Nigeria, there are comparative advantages in it. Every state will be autonomous. They will be able to get the best in the, every state. They will be able to look inward and get the best brains in every state. Not that they, every state will be coming to the center to be taking a location every month. It doesn't make them to think. The governors will come to the, to the center and take money and go and share. What is, what is the, where is the thinking about faculty in all these go our governors today? Because they will not look inward. What, what the, every state is blessed, is blessed in Nigeria. Because uh, in Gardner State, have, they have copper. They have, agric they have land. Massive land for agriculture. They are not utilizing it. Because they come every, every allocation is always there for them every month to come and pick and go and share. We cannot continue with this kind of uh, system. It will not work. And that has been my, my, my passion that we need to change this system. You are I'm a, coming you, to change it. You are a youth. Yes, we you need to change it. You think you will not disappoint Nigeria? I will never disappoint Nigeria because I have, I have studied the system we are running for the past year. What's your background? I'm a financial uh, analyst. What have you done? Uh, you are a financial I'm, analyst. I'm into empowerment. You? For the past decade, I've been empowering youth. And women in Nigeria. Where, and did, I've been where did you work before? Because I worked in the banking industry before. I worked in First Bank, I worked in Sky Bank, and I got to the peak of my. No um, carcass in your cupboard? No carcass. So, what I'm saying is, we need, we need to address the system we are running today. The system is too, is too, is too, is too heavy. Can you, can you look at Nigerians and promise them what you are going to do for them? If, if, I, become, you if I become the president of Nigeria in 2019, we will look inward at the system we are running. To do that has not been fetching, f giving us any dividend of democracy. We have to change it. We have to go, if it's going into fe federal federalism, we we'll go into federalism so that every state will be autonomous. They will look at you what they have and able to, to bring. Do, do you think PDP will give you a ticket because I learned they have zone into you know where are you from? I'm from Kogi State. Is that not? And my coming is divine. It's not. I'm from the north. Okay, you are from the north. Yes. Do you believe in zoning formula? I don't believe in zoning formula. I've never believed in zoning formula. Okay, you feel that every uh, everybody, qualified every Nigeria body, every qualified be Nigeria should be, uh, should be able to attest to that number one position. Okay. That is my that's my take. APC, APC, you push, you go and warm up. Man There's of, going to be God. a fight in 2019. Yeah. If so, this no, no, just go and tell uh, If this your restructure party, is what the, is coming for, I will just ask him to support the APC because that's the next no, phase yeah, now, of APC. Now, sure? time, yes, is, time is up. I want you to support time is us up. because time all is your up. agenda is what we are going to do uh, in the next phase. We want okay, to thank you me. for being there for us and uh, I think uh, uh, the journey to 2019 is, uh, is uh, getting closer by the day we are moving towards the, the end of the journey. 
and very soon Nigerians will decide. So like what we are doing as a student, as I've always said, what we are doing as a student is to harvest information from the public and uh, put it at the public domain for analysis. We thank you very much. Uh, Otumba, yeah. Dr. Benga Jiwa, we thank you very much, thank you very for, much for coming. We wish you good luck thank you very as much. you prepare for the election 2019. Thank you. And we do hope that PDP will be fair to you. And uh, Honorable Samuel uh, Ilo, we, th we thank you very God much for God coming bless again. Nigeria, and uh, I, I, I plead for Nigeria to be patient. Okay. Things uh, will work well. Yes, so thank you very much, viewers. I remain Venerable J. Unwanya, your anchor, and uh, uh, we'll, co we'll come to you again, uh, maybe uh, with another episode, maybe on a different topic. Thank you for being there for us. The views and opinions expressed on this program are those of the guests and viewers and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the Anglican Cable Network Nigeria ACNN.